Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with GTA Online. If you enjoyed this video, please date a single mother and try to bond with her son. Wait until that heartfelt moment when he finally calls you dad and then leave him with a note that says if he doesn't subscribe to Modest Pelican Gaming, you'll never come back and it will all be his fault. As this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Meet Thick Man, a retired assassin who is on a mission to become the most powerful crime lord in Los Santos, whilst also ensuring he stays sufficiently hydrated at all times. These are the boys, 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 and together they form a feared gang known as the Sons of Virgins. These are their stories. Bruh. So as there's a massive new update this week with a whole new island, heist, and submarine, your boy needs a lot of cash. I also love how a new offshore location is suddenly discovered and our first response is to invade and rob the residents of all their possessions. Well, if nothing else, it's historically accurate. I also want to buy a terabyte because I have a special project planned, so we need to start grinding. My mate Stealth Carbo will be joining us and I proceed to give him a good morning smooch with my hatchback. Fortunately, I built up a full wear house of cargo on stream so we should be ready to make a sale right away. I'm as surprised as you are that I'm actually getting organized before an update for once. I swear Thick Man walks with the confidence of a man who sends unsolicited peeny pics without even a sepia filter or tactical crop. What a man. I log on and sure enough we're ready to go. The sale will be happening in international waters which is a smart move as laws don't apply out there. Or at least that's what my uncle told me when we used to go on all those summer sailing trips, specifically 12 miles off the coastline. They've provided us a boat and this is nice. The two bros heading out to sea together on a dangerous mission. I proceed to accidentally press X and swan dive off the upper deck with some absolutely exquisite form. We meet the buyers and make the sale, pocketing a cool $735,000. A great start. Next up is arms dealing. This time they provided us with beastly monster trucks so that we can make nature submit to us and ignore the incel roads. Given how manly this moment is, I feel as if I can open up about something I've been wanting to talk about for a while. I can't be the only guy who uses his girlfriend's body washes. That shit claps hard. I was using some exfoliating tangerine cleanser last night like a king. For years I just used a bar of hand soap, but now I'm washing my face with some facial fuel energizing anti-oil cream. I don't even know if my face was oily in the first place, but I'll tell you one thing, it definitely isn't oily right now. Anyway, an easy $142,500 in the bank. As we're in the middle of nowhere, the game gives us dirt bikes to ride home on. Carbo and I attempt to create a cinematic shot and he proceeds to ride his bike directly into the lake. This turned out to be a huge win though, as he then had to firmly hold my waist while whispering flirty comments into my ear. It wasn't weird, it was just vehicle safety. Next up is selling a little bit of that pure white Charlie. It goes absolutely flawlessly and we took it really seriously. $168,000 in the bank. All the jobs plus the grinding I did on stream leaves us with $2.24 million. Do we buy a B11 Strike Force that's on sale? Do we buy an oppressor that's also on sale? Do we buy a like the video and subscribe poster? These are getting lazy, but yes, and we also buy the terabyte because it has a function that is going to be very useful to me. I try to get a cool shot of me walking up to the truck and Carbo runs over me like a jerk and ruins it. Your guess is as good as mine as to what I did to deserve that. Yeah, so not only is this truck solar powered so it can pretend to be a plant, it can also scan other players. For example, using Carbo as a test subject, we can observe that he's rank 104. His favorite vehicle is the Scramjet, but most importantly, he's had zero private dances and purchased zero premarital acts of service. My boy is Christian and pure like a good gamer should be. It is now our duty to scan each and every player in GTA Online to ensure everyone is as pure as Carbo. We tail a man in a white SUV and I give him a red hot probe to discover that he has received one private dance. I feel like throwing up all over my computer. What kind of sick dodgy malacca would scar his eyes with that filth? I purchased this truck thinking that I would merely be double checking that people weren't corrupted but this is just disturbing. Of course I'm forced to eliminate Twisty for his crimes against my strict ethical code. He takes it really badly and retaliates and it's like bro, I'm not the one who went out and got a virtual lap dance, you did this to yourself. 
We get the rig back up and running and find our next candidate. He's got a futuristic bike and seems like the kind of upstanding citizen Jesus himself would share a king single bed with. To my horror, I discover that he's also had one private dance, but also paid to lose his virginity five times. You're a sick puppy, XD Tomma6962, and you will be cleansed for your sins. I do appreciate the XD in the name though, I'm not going to lie. Well, at least we've purified the most promiscuous player in the server. I'm sure everyone else will have abstained, but no, I wasn't ready for this. I scan a player by the name of Salty Tryhard 433 who has had 38 private dances and 38 physical encounters. This man has spent most of his gaming time visiting Whammon of the Night. Someone call a local priest so we can get an exorcism happening as soon as possible. For real, at what point is it simply more efficient to just go to the hub? Carbo and I both put a lot of bullets into this randy lad as he needs cleansing on an entirely new level. I'll be praying for Salty Tryhard's family. Now I'm not saying that we deserve an award for our servers here today, or that Rockstar should call my personal phone and say thanks for helping to keep their servers family friendly. All I'm asking is that as a small way of showing their appreciation, they make Carbo and I the two main protagonists for GTA 6, that's literally all I'm asking. We keep going about our business, doing what we can. It turns out people really don't appreciate atoning for their actions though. And all of a sudden, several disgruntled perverts have formed an air squadron and are continually strafing my truck. Through no fault of our own, the server begins its inevitable freefall into absolute chaos. Our work here is done, and so to celebrate, we drink together until we pass out. I then head down to the vanilla unicorn and get a well-earned private dance with my girl Sapphire. I'm kidding, I would never be a hypocrite. I'm an internet personality who can be trusted. Everyone knows YouTubers always tell the truth. So I log off and get on the next day, and I kid you not, I get Twitch Prime promotion benefits of $3.325 million. I noticed my Prime account wasn't linked to my Xbox anymore, and so I fixed it, and I guess this was all just built up. This happened at the perfect time, because if I had received this money many months ago, I think we all know I would have spent it on useless items. We now have over $5 million, which should hopefully be enough to buy this submarine in a few days' time. Besides exposing people for their truly awful war crimes, the terabyte does have some actual uses. My boy Jezo logs on, and we decide to give her a run. He's made his character look like Ghost from Call of Duty. It's funny because I don't remember Ghost being a greedy, randy little tramp. I'm kidding, that was really uncalled for. Jez is a close friend of mine and a truly great friend in small doses. I log on and we're going to stop a bank robbery. Not to save the day or anything, we're actually going to rob the bank that is already being robbed. It's smart because the police will already be there and so will a bunch of highly armed burglars. I actually fail to see the tactical benefit on this one, and then I proceed to get the terabyte stuck. This is quite anticlimactic, because I was hoping to take this new truck to the job, but I guess we'll just take Jezo's cheap Walmart ass looking helicopter like chumps. Again uncalled for, I'm sorry your helicopter is cool, that was mostly jealousy speaking. I can't imagine the life of a Los Santos police officer is a serene existence. Imagine sitting in the station and the beat cop reports in that two men in a military gunship just obliterated the entire LSPD Eastside response unit in under 10 seconds. Then the police chief is like, yo big dog, can you and your partner grab a pump action shoddy and a squad car and go and deal with that aerial threat? Not ideal. The thieves have a juggernaut, but using all of my video game skills, I easily take the big girl down. Jeez, I'm better at this game than I am at Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator rated 9 out of 10 stars on Steam with a surprisingly captivating plotline. Or at least I assume I would be good at that game. I obviously haven't played it and completed 100% of the side quests. That would be weird. There's a woman still alive and it's near impossible to tell if she's hostile or not. The game won't let me just straight up shoot her, but for Fortunately, I see things differently. Einstein's IQ is supposedly around 160. Mine is 10,000, so it's no surprise I managed to eliminate the threat. We escape in the chopper and earn a cool $31,500. Honestly, I was hoping for more, so I let out my frustration on the guy who we did business with. To rub salt into the wound, this random guy is running around in the rain without a shirt on trying to look cool. I proceed to use the Juggernaut's minigun to take down the threat. This has no relation to the fact that my ex-girlfriend is dating a surfer guy who looks a lot like this NPC. I am definitely not projecting my emotions right now. I'm just making great epic YouTube content. 
Jezo then launches an assault on me, which is confronting. It's partially my fault, as I told him that me spinning my peony in a circular motion was a more impressive helicopter than his ever would be. I can't recall the terabyte as it's still on the map. So we have a four star high speed chase back into the country, only for me to die meters away from our destination. On top of that, I forgot the big unit is still stuck, so yeah. Exceptional YouTube content right here. Not only was this truck released in 2018, I've barely been able to drive it. We do a couple more missions like recovering a high value briefcase which was wholesome. We decided to only use the up anatomizers which was one of the better weapons I've acquired. Despite our brief moment of teamwork, Jezo immediately reverses it into a swimming pool so that it was stuck again at least this time in water. Jezo's clearly been investing his money wisely. Honestly, he's lucky the terabyte is stuck right now because if I scanned him, I'd hate to see what he's been up to. Did you know you can get the escorts to like you faster if you flirt with them through your microphone while they give you a lap dance? I've always hoped to hear someone chatting up a virtual stripper. That would be so hot. I mean, funny comedic content for my videos. Overall, a successful day. We cleanse the server and have $5 million ready for the update. I'm pretty excited as this is definitely the biggest update the game's ever seen and I'll be hooking into it as soon as possible. Thanks for watching you legends, until next time and as always, stay classy.